Hey guys, Sean with Brawl Brothers here, wishing you a very happy new year. Hope you guys all hit your goals this year. Wishing you the best year so far and the worst of those to come. And also want to take the time out to thank everybody that subscribed. Welcome to the channel. Really appreciate you guys' positive comments. Really appreciate all you guys' support. But without further ado, let's dive into this video. In this video, we're going to talk about how to increase your punching power by changing the way you punch on the bag and when you have an opponent in front of you. We're going to talk about punching through your opponent rather than to your opponent. Let's jump on the bag. So this technique is gonna help you increase your power both on the outside and on the inside range. Doesn't matter which way you're throwing your punch from, whether it's from here or from here, we're gonna help you increase that power. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice this on the heavy bag until we get good enough and it becomes on autopilot to do it in any situation, including a fight, right? So the biggest mistake a lot of people make on the heavy bag is they punch to the bag. Right, they punch right where, depending on where they are, that's where they pull their punch back. So if the, the range is here, they'll pull the punch back here. If the range is here, they'll pull the punch back here. But what you want to do is forget where the heavy bag is and try to range to, to, to hit to the outside of the bag. Instead, your focus should be, even if you're this close, to complete the range of motion. Right, you should be throwing with that kind of intensity, that kind of power. Never shorten the range of motion just because you're on the inside. You want to punch through the bag. It's kind of like those karate guys when they hit those bricks. If they aimed for the top brick, they would never crack the bottom brick, right? They just wouldn't be able to generate enough power. Their goal is always to punch through all of the bricks to get all the way down to the last one, right? They don't let that top brick stop them from doing that. Now, the only difference here is you don't have time to do all that breathing and hype yourself up and have everybody cheering you on. You got to do this with every single punch. That's what makes boxers so dangerous. They're able to generate a lot of power with beautiful form and a lot of speed with just about every punch in their combinations, right? So what you want to do is, just to show an example of it, here we are, boom. If we're here, boom, right? We're throwing full range. We're throwing full range, boom. We're throwing full range, boom. We're throwing full range. But if we get close, boom, we still want to throw hard, right? Here, the only thing that stopped me is the bag. I still aim to throw that momentum, right? So I go, boom, right? I'm still trying to complete that punch. Same thing with hooks. When I throw the hook, my goal is not to hit the bag here. My goal is to punch through and come out the other side. So I'm gonna throw that hook, and I'm not gonna pull back when I reach the outside of it. I'm gonna dig, I'm gonna dig, right? Again, I'm flying here. I'm flying well past the bag. It's just the bag is stopping me. So what happens is all that force Instead of landing on the outside, when I stop my punch here, the force would land on the outside and it would hurt on the outside. But when I complete my range of motion, all of that force from the punch goes on the inside of the bag, right? Because I'm trying to punch through it. And what that does to your, to your brain, or rather your opponent's brain, is it concusses them. And that's where he's gonna rock them or it's gonna knock them out, right? It's what puts the lights out on people. Is that force on the inside. It's not that force on the outside. Right? That's why you see sometimes a guy get cracked and he's not even cut, but he's out. His lights are out. So you want to make sure, again, always punch through the bag, not to the bag, and focus on that. And try to, the, way, the best way to practice it is get on the inside and just boom, boom, on those shots. My wrist is a little messed up, which is part of the slowdown in the videos lately. So I'm not going to go all out. If you guys want to see how I hit, watch some of my other videos. But basically, boom, boom, explode on the inside. Boom, boom, explode on the inside, right? And this is very, very, very draining exercise, which is why you want to practice it. You want to be in good enough shape to be able to explode with punches and punch through your opponent, right? You're constantly punching through your opponent. Doesn't matter if you're throwing hooks or whatever, you're punching through your opponent. So you want to do this all the time and make it a habit to be a monster, right? You want to punch for pain all the time. That's the tip, guys. Make sure to punch through your opponent, not to your opponent, and you'll be able to generate a lot more power and again, put those lights out. By the way, guys, don't forget to check out the Fight Store. We've got a ton of apparel to make you look good in training, make you look good outside of training, help you rep your sport and really show people that they should mess with you. And we've even got posters. I'm gonna be throwing these bad boys up soon, somewhere around here, right? Give me a little extra edge, give me something to little motivate myself. Put that in your training environment, put it for your students to see if you're a coach, put it for yourself to see if, if you're training yourself, right? Check out the Fight Store, link in the description below. But that being said, don't forget to tell me what content you guys wanna see. I wanna make the content you guys wanna see. I wanna make the content that you guys will learn from, that you guys will find valuable. So please drop me a comment below and let me know what you guys want me to shoot next. 
and I'll put it in the pipeline. Other than that, don't forget to jab that like button, hit that subscribe button, and all those other YouTube buttons that'll help this channel blow. I'll really appreciate it. I'm Sean Brawl Brothers, and I'll brawl with you guys next time. Mm -hmm.